All right, episode 67. We're going to continue from the previous episode. Right, since the last episode, I've checked with the merchant and I got this mace, which is pretty nice. Got some good bonuses. And I also put Essence of Yellow Wang's Bloodletting on it, if you see, which uh, see if it goes quite a bit of DPS. The reason I put Yellow Wang's Bloodletting is not so much for the bleeding damage, but more for the slowing effect that its completion bonus gives. So hopefully that will help us to slow the enemies down. So that should be a really good bonus. And uh, this mace was dealing quite a bit of damage. So I thought it's about time we change that weapon, you know. The only thing about it is that it doesn't have as much attack speed as uh, the previous weapon. So that is something to keep in mind. Because it means our shield procs will not be coming in as often, you know. Alright, so we go this way. Gonna fight a bunch of tigermen now, pack leaders and stuff. So gotta prepare for that. Because they're all gonna come in and attack us. Look at them, there's like four. Five, I think. Yeah. Shit, that's five. We go get away from the battle stand and activate our Colossus. You know, yeah, like taking them on. Yeah, taking them all on. Beat the crap out of them. That's what Colossus form is for. Taking things on like a tank. Yeah, yeah. Right, battle marker, even better. It's too bad the cold form doesn't last too long. Alright. Just finish these guys off as well. Yeah, we should... Uh, if you notice, I've actually gotten rid of a lot of the old health potions and bought some new ones, the bigger ones. Because, uh, you know, we're already at the end of Act 3 and we should be, you know, using more recent health potions. Otherwise, it's going to get too dangerous. If we chug in... One of the lesser, well, not lesser, but one of the earlier health potions. It's not going to do us any good. Right, we just found 18 harpoon. And I'll show you in a sec what it is. It's like one of the most infrequent. As soon as this battle marker runs out. All right. So, 18 harpoon. This is it. If you remember, I mentioned before, it's one of the 18 rares. It's not like it's not fantastic or anything. Probably if I had a relic on it, it could be quite nice. It's not bad, for a spear it's good because, first of all, it deals, its attack speed is average rather than slow. Most spears have slow attack speed, this one has average, so it's actually better. And also it has 30% piercing damage rather than 25, I think. I think most spears have 25. So, yeah, it's co quite good. And it's green, so you can actually put a relic on it. So it's a fairly decent spear to have. And, uh, got more Dragonian Mages. Yeah, there we go, just got in and killed him. And there's another one there. Dealt with him quickly as well. So you see, uh, with our new weapon that we've got, although our attack speed is slightly lower, but our hits hit harder, you know? We hit a lot harder with each hit. So that's quite good. Yeah, so just we'll deal with these Dragonians. But this forest area is quite fairly big, actually. And this, if I'm mistaken, was the combination that got us to extremely low health last time. If you remember, but we're more prepared for it this time because we got standards. And look, that mage has a that aura on him, and it's run out. So we're gonna come in and kill him. But yeah, if you remember that glowing golden aura that he had on him, that aura is quite bad to attack him, to attack these mages when the aura is on because it reflects damage back at you. It's quite dangerous. All right, some fire talons. They don't seem to have any mages with them, although they are dealing quite a bit of damage. Look at that, which. Getting quite a bit of low in health there. I think quite a lot of fire damage. And considering we've got 54% fire resistance. Just tells you how important fire resistance is for them. Dragonians are not the kind of enemies you know you want to be taking on without preparation. And so still this area around here to explore is quite quite a lot of quite a lot of stuff. There's an optional cave as well. Here, yeah, battle marker. That's useful. Alright, it would have been good if we actually fought those Dragonians. With it. I think the enemies in this cave are weaker. It's like these... It's these sprites. It's like not even worth it. They're not even worth it. They're not even worth the mace wings that we do. It's pretty much kill uh, all of them with one hit. Alright. Just trash loot, pretty much. That majestic chest really stands out. Look what we got here. Demon's blood. That just shows that even, you know, 
looting these guys is worth it because they got they drop demon's blood which is useful we got it on here on this on this uh, ring so now we got now we've got 80% stun resistance and 40% vitality resistance perfect now we've got pretty much minimum amount of vitality resistance to face typhoon because ideally you'd want to get it to around 40% at the very least so yeah because he does have leeching attacks, health leeching attacks, and you don't want you don't want him to be hitting you with those. Right. Uh, let's just get out of this cave really quickly. All right. All right. Let's just open up these dark spots around here. Just gonna speed up these parts. All right. So I think we've got the left side pretty much done. There's these itchings here to finish off. Lord of the Deep. He didn't look like a lord to me. Alright, so we've been in our cave. I think we've explored most of this forest. Well, at least this area of it, anyway. Alright, so just head this way. Just deal with the Ichthians again. The Ichthians tend to be, if you know, it's quite a lot of time they're right next to the water. Whenever there's rivers and stuff, right next to the, these kind of places. Alright, do you see that fallen tree up there? That's the, where you will have to obviously walk to the next area because we're gonna make sure we cleaned out this whole area it's so nobody we're not gonna leave anyone alive it's like Titan Quest hero is the biggest mass murderer in the whole of the land kills everybody but then again they are hostile so right that should be it now we're just gonna walk along that fallen tree which is a pretty cool pretty cool idea to cross the river and we've got a rebirth fountain. Right. There'll be some more Dragonians around here. Just a bit further. You have to be a bit careful here because th this is, although this is an open area, there's a lot of obstacles in the way. There's rocks, trees. So it's really easy to get stuck and to get yourself you know, in a really bad position when fighting the Dragonians. But at the same time, you could also use these. You know, use these locations to, to your advantage to hide away from the fire talon archers or those mages who throw the plasma balls at you. Why do I keep saying plasma balls? Lightning balls. We're not in the sci-fi, are we? How did that huge suit fit in that tiny little basket? I have no idea. Alright, more fire talons around here. I mean, you really need a lot of fire resistance here. Alright, just a bit more in here. I wonder what they're all doing here. Just standing around there, looking at that, at that wall, doing nothing. Yeah, it's not not nice when they put you in a net. Right, so we head north, and the forest kind of gets thinner, like in terms of, it goes from a big wider area to like a more thinner kind of just one one road. It narrows down. I really like this pulverize, pulverize smack just really puts the enemies down. And take care of that mage. Yeah, we could use the obstacles to our advantage to just I'm gonna lure these guys away, you know, it's like can't get to the mage because they're just on the way. And he's activated the aura again. Just go wait until he wears off. There we go. It's our chance. Kill him. There we go. You can hear the dragonian sounds, you can always hear them when they're nearby. And we're gonna go Colossus in here. It's just there we go. How about you guys pick somebody your own size? Yeah. Look at that. Very good stuff. And you, Vermage. Vusau Barons. Now we're pretty much at the Vusau Okay, And there's two mages around here. So it's a good job we had Colossus on. There. One shield smack. Kill them! One shield smack to the face. Right, Shrine of Mastery. Good timing as well. Got this mage, pesky mage here. And another one. Damn, they like putting the two mages in the same group, don't they? Just gotta keep dodging those. If you keep dodging them, it's like, you know, they, these mages are not exactly that clever. They just keep shooting them all at one spot. Just so long as you don't come too close. Because if you're really close, all four projectiles will most likely hit you. If you keep some distance from him, he's gonna miss them. Alright, so you activate this portal because that's, that's the Wusao portal. And you head this way to the cave, there's a few skeletons here. In the legendary difficulty, some of these warlocks, the mage skeletons around here, they actually cast uh, Spellbreak on you. So they actually 
they debuff your all of your buffs. So that's something to keep in mind. I I I think it's only on legendary that they do that. So on normal, there's not much here, and I don't think there's much on epic either. So on here, it's not so bad, but on ep on legendary, it can get dangerous. Right, I'm gonna make use of this regeneration shrine, and something we picked up. We're gonna sell it later. That's it. So we proceed this way to the Wusau Cave, and we shall stop around here by the Rebirth Fountain, and we'll continue this in the next episode. See you guys later. Bye bye.